Hi guys, welcome back again. Today we have a important video to make. Actually, I've got a couple of videos to make, and um, this first one is going to be an important one. It's an update to the video I made a couple of weeks ago regarding uh, removing flowers from uh, mango, young mango trees. And I think I learned my lesson. Uh, the Valencia Pride mango apparently died from um, my mistake. It wasn't from uh, um, the tree having a sudden death. Well, it did have a sudden death, but because of me. So thanks to um, uh, that person that mentioned the reason behind the death, um, you don't remove, ma this is an update, you don't remove mango flowers from young mango. Take note. It's just how we learn guys. It's just how we learn. My best teacher has always been um, mistakes in life but in this case we're talking about gardening. We're not talking about anything else. And uh, the mistake I made was to remove these. You don't remove these on a young mango tree. I did some research online and apparently it's okay to remove these only after the fruit has set when they're pea size, that size, maybe a little bigger than that. But just to be on the safe side, <coughs> don't remove anything until all the panicles have fallen. That is, all these flower, uh, these flowers have fallen. Once they're all gone, and all you're left with is young fruit. See these young fruit? Then you can go ahead and remove the fruit. Or you can leave the fruit on there and let the tree decide what's going to stay and what's um, going to go. The fruit, the tree can do it for you. But you're running the risk of um, growing big heavy fruit on a very small tree like this. I'm going to aim for a couple of fruit on this. Maybe <coughs> maybe three. There's fruit everywhere. See, on that side, on this side, on that side. So I'm going to aim for one on this side, one on this side, and maybe one on this side. This is a Kensington Pride. I haven't touched it. See what happens when you don't touch nature? <laughs> Performs magically. So that's the update on the mango death. It was caused by me cutting off these young flowers. Too early. See? Too early. You can cut them off once they're spent, once they fall off themselves. Once these are all gone and there's nothing left, then you can cut. Or even better than that, just let the tree do it. Even better, even safer. Okay, that's the update on um, on that. So I hope that helps. And um, sorry to anyone who took my advice two weeks ago and did the same and had their tree killed. That's how we learn, right? I learned, you learned, and we're helping each other. Thanks again for the advice from um, the chap who reminded me. It was a bit too late though, but at least it will never happen again. All right, guys, that's the update. Thanks. Thanks for watching, and um, see you from the next video.